Hey guys, my name is Nick, and I hope you all had a very nice weekend. I know I had, because this weekend's Ultra Prism pre-release. I spent my time going through some pre-releases this weekend and got these nice pre-release kits, which we'll be looking at today. And I have some good news about this set. I was very careful with my expectations going in, because like I said on Friday, I was worried that they would make this set even more difficult to collect with the new prism cards like all the sun and moon sets already have way too many secret rares and stuff like that so i was worried that they were gonna pile on the, these new prism cards on top of already all the secret rares and stuff like that and the good news is that they didn't well the set is still too big to collect like it is with all the other sun and moon sets but the new prism cards are in the reverse hollow slot. So they're kind of like break cards. And so they don't really influence the other ultra rares. At least I don't think so. As far as I can tell, they also restored the pool rates from what they were before uh, Crimson Invasion. I'm not sure about that yet that though. I, I based that purely on what people at my table got and what I, got, what I saw other people pull. So based on that, I think that they uh, have restored the pool rates so, somewhat. But I may have to correct myself uh, if later turns out that they didn't quite do that but yeah my two biggest worries about this set did not come to pass so i actually really like it there's some really cool stuff in this set it's still too big like all the other sun and moon sets but as far as sun and moon sets go this one seems pretty good now before we open it a few things of course uh well i already played with these cards so i've already seen what's in this kit but i put everything back in the packs like i found it i may have made a little mistake here and there putting stuff back but overall i think i did a good job at that and then i shuffled the packs around so i'm not quite sure what is in which pack if i did get a nice pool but that's the gist of it the same with all the other pre-release videos that i did of course of the four booster packs in here i will be giving away the new ultra prism codes just keep in mind that if you win one of the codes that you can redeem it and but you cannot actually open the pack until the official release date which is on february 2nd i think it should have a little clock on it on when you can open it first of course we have the winners from last video only two packs so two codes to give away and it seems I didn't do quite a good job at asking my question. Basically, I asked you guys to choose between these two sort of weird hollow promos. They're not actually promos, they're Sun and Moon cards, but with a different hollow effect that I found in a toy store of all places. And apparently aren't sold anywhere else. But I guess my question wasn't uh, clear enough because I did not get any proper answers. And so the winners were Lollipop Kids and Juice A1406, who both went with Tapu Koku promo for some reason. I guess my question implied what is your favorite promo or something. They tried to answer, so that's all that matters really. So you guys win a Guardians Rising code and should have received a message for me by now. As for the codes from this video, uh, we have the new Ultra Prism set and I got four booster packs with all four of the different artworks, which we'll take a look at in a second. But my question for the codes for you guys is what is your favorite new pack art from the Ultra prism set let me know in the comments below for a chance to win one of the goats so let's open this thing and see what i got first of course we got the most important thing let's seal that to hide the promo for a moment we got a little flyer it's actually called a, a, a necrosma i think it's dawn necrosma or something basically necrosma has taken over Solgaleo, which is a thing in ultra sun i guess and here's the back the same stuff I guess you can pause the video if you really want to read that, but uh, it's not that interesting. And then we have the promo. We got four new promos with Ultra Prism. And of course, I'm attempting to collect them all. This weekend, I started off with Wash Rotom. <laughs> there are a bunch of Rotoms in this set. And they all have sort of the same ability, which allows you to attack without attaching any energy. If you have nine item cards in your discard pile, then the attacks become free. Now you can make a fun deck with that. I say fun because I don't think it will be a deck that can make it into competitive play, but it is a fun thing you can do. You can get all four of the Rotoms because they all have different names combined with nothing but item cards. And then you just discard a lot of your item cards and then you can attack for free with all your Rotoms, which if I can get a bunch of these Rotoms, I think uh, I want to do in the old line TCG just for fun. But yeah, that was my first Ultra Prism promo. Then along with the promo, we got a little, uh, 22 card pack thing which you use to make your deck with <sighs> did you have to do that no 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 the others are falling over as well no don't don't ah oh, damn it <laughs> Stay, stop doing that. 22 cards to make a deck with. And these pre-made decks for the Ultra Prism set, there's some really good uh, cards in there. So we have a Piplop and we have a different kind of Piplop. 
of which I got three. Then we get the Evolution Print Plop, two of, where, of them. And then we get to Empoleon, we got two of those as well. And this is a really good card, just for two energy you get a Total Command, which does 20 damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. So that could potentially do 200 damage if both you and your opponent have a full bench. Maybe even more if you use a Skyfield or something. It's a really good card. And then we have Young Goose to Gumshoes, which is also a really nice card, especially that Identify. For only two double colorless, your opponent reveals their hand, so you get to look at their hand. And if there are any Pokemon in there, it does 80 more damage. <laughs> that is really good. The only downside I've seen of this thing is if you play it before using that attack, you give your opponent time to discard all Pokemon from their hand. I managed to do that once when my opponent played this Gumshoes, but still, I think it's a really good card. And then we have Electabuzz. Two of them as well to Electivire. A lot of energies for this guy, but a lot of damage on those attacks as well. So that I also a really good card, I feel. So we got two of those as well. And lastly, I got a Shaman, which is a new one with the Call for Family, which allows you to seek some basic Pokemon and a little Glide attack, which is less impressive, but that's not really what you use this card for, I suppose. And then we get a bunch of trainers, Timer Ball, Nest Ball. From the older sets, we've seen those. Sophocles, Cynthia, a new one. Shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw six cards. Can't remember what the old name was, but we had a trainer like that before. And the last card is a Looker, which... Oh, not the last card, but yes, Looker, which is draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. Basically a how, only you draw from the bottom instead of the top. And that is significant because I know there's at least one card in this set, the Uran Guru, which puts uh, three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. So you use this in combination with Oranguru and you can basically get three cards back from your discard pile. So it has some nice options. And lastly we got a Pokemon Fan Club, which is another remake of a card that already existed, but a very nice picture on this one I feel. So yeah, some really good cards in a 22 card pack and there are some other ones that we haven't seen yet, we will. But yeah, there's some really good stuff in there. Which was a good and a bad thing, I think. The good thing is that everyone has a nice deck to play with at the pre-release. The bad thing is that everyone sort of plays with the same cards. I saw very little of people doing something original with their deck at these pre-releases. But yeah, then lastly, we get to the four booster packs. And these are the four artworks. We have the Dawn Necrozma, Leafeon, Giratina, and uh, Dusk Necrozma, I think it's called. I think I got that right, but yeah, if you want to win one of the codes, let me know which of these four artworks is your favorite and why in the comments below. And in the next video, I will pick the winners. So let's just start with uh, Don the Crossma over here and see what I got. <laughs> so we have an Electric Energy, Sneasel, Carnivine, a Lolan Diglett, Diglett back in this set. A Magmar, Glamiao, Floatzel, Luxio, a Faulkner, which is a new trainer card, allows you to search for an electric energy and an item card. And then I got a Reverse Hollow Heat Rotom, so that's one of the other Rotoms, like the, the Wash Rotom. This is the promo version, but there's a regular one as well, obviously. And as you can see, it has the exact same ability. If you have nine tool cards in your discard pile, you can ignore all energy cost of each of this Pokemon's attack. So basically 80 damage for free. And the last card is a Roserade, which has a very nice attack as well, which allows you to move all your grass energies around and do a lot of damage at the same time. And then the second pack with Leafeon at the front. Because uh, the evolutions are back. I'm not sure why we skipped those in Crimson Invasion. We, we got Leafeon and Glaceon in this set, I think. So we got a Steel Energy, Sneasel, another Alolan Diglett, Salandit, Piplup, Lickitung, which is also a very nice card to start with. You can just draw three cards for these two energies. It's not quite Genghis Khan EX, but still a pretty good one. 
and we got unit energy which is basically a new kind of blend energy it provides either one grass fire or water energy uh, to anything you attach it to which are really nice cards like this uh, you don't look at this and go oh i know the right deck for that but this these kind of cards you just want to hold back and then one day when you decide to make a deck that uses for example water and grass type pokemon you go oh i have the perfect energy for that to just use with that deck so yeah i really like energy cards like this I'm glad we got something new like this. And then we have Cosmo. It's just a reprint for some reason. I don't know why. I always think it's a bit of a shame if they just use the same card from another set. Because is it really that difficult to give it a new artwork, right? And then we got another Looker. A reverse holo is a Yan Mega, which needs a lot of energy, but it's double colorless. So you, with just two double colorless, you could build that up for 120 damage. And the last card is a Shaman. And then we get to the third pack. Starting off with another Steel Energy or Metal Energy. And we get Riolu because there is a Lucario in this set. I must have it. I love Lucario, so... <laughs> we got a Skorupi. A Jupiter, a Chimchar, another Licky Tongue, a Lily, making a comeback in this set with a new artwork. I'm not sure why they waited with the new artwork for this set and didn't do that with uh, the Shining Legend set. Seemed like the perfect place to do some new artworks there. But they did it now, so I love this one instead. <laughs> Because I don't mind reprints of cards in new sets, just if they use a new artwork, then uh, it feels like a new card, you know? So as a collector, I really like it to have different artworks when they reprint these cards. And then we have another Cosmo, which does it, again, not the reprint. And then we have Mars, one of the new trainers. Draw two cards, uh, and if you do, you can discard a random card from your opponent's hand, which I guess is a nice nice trade-off instead of using a draw three cards like how or something or that new looker and then we get another yen mega reverse hollow so we're three packs in and i already have a duplicate reverse hollow and the last card is a heathran hollow which is uh, practically the entire card is hollow again i don't know how well you guys can see that but the bottom is definitely has some hollow effect on it i always kind of like it in fact i always think it's a shame that for the reverse hollows when it's a hollow card they make the picture non-hollow i would prefer that they make the entire card hollow like this is kind of right now it's not entirely but a bit but yeah heat run another promo also you can get for this set just a, this is just the regular one so definitely a nice pull and then we have the last pack now i did shuffle them but I'm gonna give a little spoiler, I know what's in this, and there is something nice. So my apologies if I don't seem that surprised. But we have a Water Energy, another Young Goose, a Shinx, Gibble, uh, another card you can get from the, the, the little 22 card things uh, that you make your deck with. A really good Gibble to uh, Garchomp in this set, because they all have that ascension which allows it to just evolve so fast. Then we have Pessimian, which is another interesting one. It has that power huddle, which allows any Pessimian to do 30 more damage to your opponent's Pokemon if this one is on your bench. So it's 10 more damage than with that other uh, Pessimian, but it only applies on evolution Pokemon. So it's an interesting trade-off. Maybe combine the two in your deck or something. And then we have a Magnemite, which is also in the 22 card sets, so to a very nice Magnezone in this set. And we have an electric memory, because Silvalli gets more of these. I'm not sure what the other one is, I don't quite remember. Then we have Shieldon, because fossil Pokémon make a return. So you need a fossil to get this on the field. Then we have Skunk Tank, which I played with a little bit and it's actually really good. Because first of all you have Stunk you, which you can use to uh, confuse your opponent before you evolve it. And then you use Sticky Smokescreen. For 50 damage and the opponent needs to flip two coins and if either of them is tails they do nothing so th so if you use both of them your opponent is forced to flip three coins and if they fill only one of them then the attack fails and they might even do damage to themselves so it's a, actually a really good card then for our reverse hollow we have a pokemon fan club and the last card from this pre-release it is a nice one i can tell you <laughs> it is a Palkia GX because we got both Palkia and Dialga GX in this set and 
damn, they have some very nice GX attacks. A lot of people th seem to think that the Dialga one is better because basically you, with the Dialga one allows you to get an extra turn, which is insane on its own. Personally though, I think everyone's wrong and this one's slightly better. Because if you use that GX attack, right, it does cost five energy to get it going. But when you do, shuffle all energy cards from each of your opponent's Pokemon into their deck. So you do 150 damage and you annihilate all energy that your opponent has on the field. So your opponent is basically back to, back to the start. Good luck recovering from that, right? So as much as that Dialga gives you an extra turn, which gives you a chance to do amazing damage, this one pretty much, if you use that GX attack, pretty much won the match, in my opinion. There are very few decks that can re quickly recover from that. So yeah, Palkia GX, a very nice pull to start my pre-releases with. And so that's it for my first uh, Ultra Prism pre-release box. I'm definitely happy with what I got, a Palkia GX and a Heatron Hollow. I'm wondering what you guys think of the new set, so feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. And also, if you want to win one of the codes, don't forget to leave a comment picking your favorite pack art from this new Ultra Prism set. And as always, I'll pick my favorite answers and announce them in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click up here to watch another one. And if you just want to watch me play some video games, you can click down here to go to my gaming channel. Whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.